Ahoy, me hearties! I'm Colorful Artie, and welcome back to Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. We be in the pirate world, Kyo Hall Key. So today, we have to explore the island a little bit, because we pretty much didn't do that at all yesterday. Star piece in that bush, very nice. And yep, fuzzies are back. We remember these guys from Glitzville. Green fuzzies. These guys are pretty easy. Hopefully this guy will clone himself. Meh, okay. I roll that poison mushroom far more often than I should. So this can be a decent level grinding spot if you just want to wait for the fuzzies to reproduce a ton. I'm gonna pass on that though. There are better ways to level grind that involve amazy daisies. Alright. Hitting one of these trees gets us a special item. And we get the head rattle badge from here. Execute superbly to confuse enemies. Actually, maybe you don't get the item from the trees until later on in the run. As in, like, after you beat this world. And we get a courage shell from that. We probably will not be using that. Okay, yeah, I don't think the item actually appears until you've cleared Chapter 5, which is a little weird. Oh, hey, Mjork. Oh no. Flower fuzzy. Take the flower fuzzy out first. I am very surprised that, that fuzzy did not reproduce itself. I tried to super guard there. Reproduce? Yeah, I thought you were gonna do that. Oh, lovely. Cool! It actually worked out very nicely. Might as well boost up my star power meter. Okay. Darn it. I am not good at super guards. Cool. No more hidden star piece panels in the area. That's good. Oh, yeah. These guys. These are the weird looking piranha plants. With purple teeth. I guess pink teeth. Cool, this is like the last title we have to do in the area. In the chapter, almost. That's a putrid piranha. It's a poisonous piranha plant. That color is totally sickly. Max HP is 8, attack is free, and defense is 0. It bites, and it attacks with super rank poison breath. Mint breath mint is table 4. <laughs> if you get poisoned, your HP will slowly go down. So, you know, try not to. Are you kidding me? I keep spinning that stupid poison mushroom. 
You know who's really useful against all of the enemies in this world? Vivian. I love quick change. She can deal the same damage as Mario, plus burn the guy. Thank you. And it's a mini Mr. Mini. Lovely. Also, invisible block up there. Oh, coin block. Nice. <laughs> okay, that piranha plant had it coming to it. Let's show off Fiery Jinx. This is a very good move. The buns are going to appear, and we have to just push them in order. Press the A there to get the stylish, and it burns all the enemies, and pretty much insta cut KOs them. It's really, really good. Even though it costs 6 FP to do, it's still one of the best attacks in the game, and we will be using that a lot. You know what? I am going to unequip my HP Plus badge. I am going to equip multi bounce and quick hammer. So that puts me down to 25 HP, and I'm going to upgrade my HP for the next level, which I will get soon. Uh, start piece back there. Almost at piece of heart. I've been playing a link to the past again recently, so I think that's why. Hmm, York. Honestly, like, all of Vivian's moves are great, which is what makes her my favorite partner in the game. That is the breath that can poison you if you are not careful. Always be careful. I think this battle will give us our level up. Yes, it will. Actually, no, it won't. Next battle will. <laughs> Press A to get the stylish move as soon as she pops up out of the ground. Alright. Come on, Sid. That works. Unfortunately, Keelhawk, he does suffer a little bit from the Twilight Town Syndrome, where there's a lot of backtracking for this one part of the jungle over and over again. However, once you get to the dungeon, you don't have to do that anymore. Really? Come on, Sid. You're better than that. Actually, we will grab that shine spread on our way back, since we're going to have to back, backtrack through that area. Thunder Rage. There, all the rage. Okay. There's a really, really weird hidden block around here. Like, really weird. Where you have to, like, use the spinny hammer to hit it. Or coops. Can't quite remember. I might have to look that up. Oh, wait. I don't want Actually, yeah, I do. These cursed ghosts blast it all! My blubbery's blotches! Is that Mario over there? You're alive, old boy. Right! You came just in the nick of time. Get these two out of here this instant! Huh? Huh? But what about you, Admiral? We gotta get you out of here, too. Just leave it to me, eh? I'll keep these ghouls busy while you get out of here. Flee! That's an order! Let me do what I must do. Now away with you! Ah! Well, uh, Bobbery, she thinks it's the right thing to do, so what are we waiting for? Oh, Bobbery, please forgive our cowardice. We up and left you, and everything was happening so quickly. Forgive us. Gone, eh? Excuse me, but I'd better be going also. And hey, you, out there in front of the TV. Yeah, I'm talking to you. It may be pretty obvious to you who I really am, but no telling Mario, or else. You out there in front of the TV? Um, is that guy okay, you think? 
I wouldn't count on it, Coops. It. Yep. Okay, so there's some stairs down here. If we get out our Yoshi friend. We can hover over here. And take this pipe into the background. And we can get coconuts from this tree. Oh, I can't carry anymore. Okay. I will throw something out. I will throw out one of those coconuts. Well, I'll throw out the mini Mr. Mini. I'm not going to use that. I can, I'm also not going to use the current shell. And yeah, you probably saw that badge over there, didn't you? That badge! Okay, it's super easy to get, but it took me forever to figure out how. So the badge is up here on this platform. Yeah. And there's like this trampoline. I thought you had to do something crazy with the trampoline and hovering. No, you don't. You want to know how you get it? Yeah. You get the Ice Power Badge! Makes Mario damage-proof when jumping on fire enemies. That's kind of like Spike Shield. It's very good. Oh, speaking of Spike Shield, do I have that equipped? I don't. Oh, well then, uh, forget all this. Only one BP for that, really. And we... Ooh, Ice... Yeah, Ice Smash could actually be good in this area, because there's a lot of fire enemies. RIP! Shine Sprite. Sweet. Uh, uh, yeah. So this is how a Legend of the Sea meets his end, eh? I don't... Not on my watch! Also, Ice Power makes you do extra damage against the fire enemies, which is very nice. So Ice Power is just an all-around great badge to have. Ow! It also makes you take less damage against fire enemies. It, and it only costs one BP. It's so nice. Oh no, Sid got burned. You'll pay for that. Yup. And we get six star points, which gives us a level up. HP. HP. We're gonna upgrade HP. Ooh, the pain of it all! Oh, Ari, old boy. Uh, <coughs> I guess these blokes got me a bit better than I thought. Mario, please hear my last request. I must thank you for taking me out to sea one last time. If there is one thing I need before I go to my rest, Chocola Cola. I was saving that one bottle. My last memory of Scarlet to celebrate reaching here. I saw it among the flotsam drifting toward the island, so it must be somewhere. If I might just have one sip before my final voyage. Give <coughs> <coughs> uh, me that Chocola Cola, old boy. Sure, Bobbery. Let me just explore the island a bit more. Oh, hey! We get a Spite Pouch! Briefly does half damage to all foes who attack directly. I'm not gonna use that. We can't cook with it. Star piece back there. And then there's this pond over here, which we can't do anything with. How about a Spite Pouch, Bobbery? Would that make you feel better? Gotta get me another coconut. Who needs a curd shell? <laughs> Coops' special ability gives both of us current shells. <laughs> okay, good job, Yoshi. Proud of you! Alright. I forgot how many Shine Sprites are in this world. Oh, 
We're gonna have so many, which is good because we're gonna get the Ultra Stone soon after this world. <laughs> I've already fought you guys. Alright, I'm storing two of my coconuts. Oh, Bobbery! I like Gubella's sass for these scenes. Admiral Bobbery, whatever happened to him? Ah, you are still alive! Well, we have some fortune left. Such relief for Flavio. I thought some jungle beast was snacking on you. Well, everyone is accounted for. Now wait one moment! Am I wrong, or are we still one man short? Th that's right! B Bobbery sacrificed himself to save us from the ghosts. Please, we've got to go back and help him. What lunacy bursts forth from your mouth? The Admiral lives? What fortitude? Mario, front and center, I entrust you with the mission to save our dear Admiral. Hmm? What is that you say? Chocola Cola? Well, why would I have that? But, uh, yes, by the way, Flavio is merely curious. What do you need it for? What now? The Admiral may soon perish, and he wants to drink it as his last wish? Ah, so what we are dealing with here is a sort of last request, am I correct? Well, Flavio has no choice. I found it on the beach, but for this noble cause, I yield. However, the Chocola Cola is part of my, uh, I mean our supplies, which we need to survive. So I will need you to find something to eat to replace this. On this, I do not budge. Hmm, yes. I am sure there is something on this island that would be a suitable replacement. How about a coconut? So, what will you give me in exchange for this delectable Chocola Cola, hmm? Make it good! I am the editor of Fabish Gourmet Weekly, so I know my delicacies. Ah, ha! A coconut, is it not? Well, that is island fare, but somewhat cliched. Ah, well, perhaps I had my <laughs> hopes too high for a foraging non-gourmet such as yourself. <laughs> well, here you go! Take the Chocola Cola! I'd give my regards to the Admiral. We get the Chicoa Cola, Flavio's treasured beverage. Actually, it's Bobberies. Tell him to waft the bouquet, swizzle it gently, and savor all of the fine fizziness. I'm sure. Yeah, what's annoying is the enemies like respawn every time you go back to the village. So I think all the piranha plants will still have respawned. Yep! Thankfully Yoshi can bypass most of those. No! Oh no no no! Damn you! Flavio hates you lots. Star points apiece, that's nice. They're all duck on it. That Fuzzy's just like, <laughs> like having the time of his life bouncing in one spot. Okay. So the hidden block, I think it's over here. I can't remember exactly where, though. There we go! It's got a jam and jelly inside, which is definitely worth it. And it's also like, how the heck would you find that block without a guide? It's a nice tower of blocks, though, I must admit. You can also wait till you get a better item that lets you jump up that high. But that's in the future. That was That's then, and this is now. So I had the one coconut I gave to Flavio, then I have two others in storage for recipes. Here's your chuckle Cola. Hmm? Hmm. Ah, 
the distinctive bouquet. You, you've brought it. Ah, this glorious flavor, dear boy. It awakens my, the mouth. So the sea was generous enough to deliver me this one last grace, eh? I have nothing left in this world now. Thank you for granting my last wish. Now I shall be reunited with my dear Scarlet. Farewell, Captain Mario. Huh? Hey, Gonzalez! I think maybe Bobbery's just sleeping. Yeah! He is! And here I was getting all choked up. Give him a wake-up whack. <laughs> what, what? Yippity yoppity! Pirates! Where are those pirates? Not quite with it yet, huh? What now? Oh, Mario, old boy, it's you. You have adventures in the afterlife as well? Capital. Hey, you're still alive, you nutcase. Ah, hmm, yes. Well, really? This isn't a tropical paradise for fallen sailors? Oh, right. Now I recall. Mario, old boy, we still have work to do. You'd better take me with you, I should say. I'm sure my sea legs and explosive personality will be rather useful, eh? ba dum -tsh. Bobbery joined your party! He's the last party member we get. Bobbery's abilities. A primer. Press X to make Mario throw Bobbery, who will then walk a few steps and explode. Step up from Bombette. But I like Bombette in battle better. Use Bobbery's explosions to cra blast cracks open, destroy walls, and activate switches. You can even throw him onto ledges above you. In battle, he can detonate on ground-bound enemies, or if you like, he can use his bomb squad, time bombs that explode one turn later. I'm not sure if I've ever used that one. I've seen it used. I think I've used it like once, and I'm like, hey, this wasn't great, because my aiming was terrible. A large stone blocks the way. It seems to be carved into the shape of a skull. There's a space in one of the eyes where you could conceivably place something. You can detonate Bob Murray earlier if you like. So cool, we have our full party now. It's a smaller party than in Paper Mario 1, but that's probably good. Because Paper Mario 1 had a lot of kind of useless allies, like Paracarry, Sushi, Wacko Wester to a certain extent. Whereas like their abilities, like what they did, were, like you needed a lot. But in battle, they were kind of redundant. Hey, everybody, look who's back! Ah, it is Bobbery! Welcome back to you! Do you know how worried we were? My stomach has been most upset. I must worry about everyone here, but who worries for Flavio? No one. Do you know how hard that is for me, to sit here in safety and worry so much? I do not know what is out there, waiting to lurch and in and snack upon me. We do not even know how to get home for the sake of the blue briny sea. But no more yelling. Now is the time we pull together and work as a team. Flavio, old boy, I must say, you talk rather too much. Such insolence! Grrr! I growl at you like an angry jungle beast. I ought to... So in any case, Mario, about that crystal star you spoke of earlier, there was a rather odd rock in the far east of the jungle with a skull carved into it. Call it an old sea bomb's intuition, but that skull rock smells suspicious. <laughs> hey, Bobbery, you want to know what really smells suspicious? Flavio's armpit. Oi, oh, smells like low tide! <laughs> but seriously, you may be onto something with that skull rock. I say that's where the treasure is. Well, anyone could figure out that much, you mutinous joker. I mean, how obvious. I was already saying in my head that the treasure is certainly behind that rock. And as such, I will continue the noble duty of protecting this camp from invasion. Captain Mario, carry on. I am sorry to make so many requests, but you know. Flavio, you old cash grubber, if you want treasure, why don't you go get it yourself? Oh well. Yes, Admiral. You see, I... 
Well, yes, you have a point. Let us decide this fair and square, shall we? Listen to me, everyone. Who thinks I should go along to investigate the Skull Rock? Oh, heck yes! Yeah, take a move and please have fun out there, you jerk. Off with you. There you have it, Flavio. Fair and square, eh, what? Um, no. Not fair. Flavio hates you all. Flavio will join you for a short time. Yes, Flavio now follows us around. There's a hilarious glitch that is used in speedruns where, like, they carry Flavio with them to the end of the game, and it is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, man! Sid, you are, like, the strongest Yoshi ever. You're, you are, like, a baby still, and you are carrying both fully grown Mario and fully grown Flavio on your back. Let's give it up for the Yoshi. Okay, let us use the power of Art Attack. I'm not confident in being able to use Earth Tremor. Oh, they're dead. <laughs> the most intricate shape ever. Oh, they only give me one star point apiece now, so only the piranhas are really worth fighting. And I've already killed them, so there's really not a whole lot of point in fighting them. <laughs> Flavio just hops on your back. Yeet! Yeet! Ah! I thought I equipped multi bomb. No, I didn't. Wait, what? Why am I doing power smash? No. I did not want to power smash you. And that's the power of Spike Shield. I can jump on his spiky teeth. Oh, thank you for dropping the FP. That is most appreciated. Donating to Colorful Artie's charity will net you satisfaction. Alright, Flavio, I've been carrying your lazy butt around. <laughs> I expected Flavio to have, like, a rapier or something so he could help out in battle, but nope. Alright. Which party member is missing HP? Vivian's missing HP. Koops is missing HP. I like Vivian a little better, so sorry. Ah, now what is all this? A dead end, taunting Flavio with its dead endness. But hmm, is this. I think this is the Skull Rock Bobbery blabbered about. Well, it positively reeks of ancient secrets, yes? Let us plunge into this puzzle. Um, uh, Mario, you don't suppose Flavio's gem might go in the space in the eye, do you? Of course it will. Skull Captain casts his gaze, Red Jewel shines and plays, Boom Basa Boom Festival. The Stash Brothers, best of friends, Three times Red Stash lands on his end, Blue Stash's belly, four times is whacked, So let's hear those fireworks go boom, At the Boom Basa Boom Festival. I am just seen into well away the time. It is not like Flavio is scared or anything. But do you know something? I have never been able to know what that sounds meaning. What is it you ask of me? You want Flavio to lend you something, is this correct? Now what could I possibly have that you would need with such anxiousness? A skull gem. What? You want me to lend you the skull gem? You really, really need it? This is the heirloom of the house of Flavio, you know. But I suppose it is alright, because I am Flavio. He is of such ludicrous wealth. I'm just lending it, though. Don't you dare run off with it. Do not make me dock pay. And we get the Skull Jam, the pride of Flavio's family. Could it be set in the Skull Rock? You know it can. And hey, remember his song? Three times Red Stash lands on his end. Four times Blue Stash's belly is whacked. Oh 
yeah. Ooh, well. Time to show off what Bobbery can do, I think. Oh, such excitement! The cave entrance! Hmm? Huh? What? Ah! My skull gem! M -m mario what were you thinking? That gem was a part of the House of Lavio! Phew! Oh, what a happy day! I have my skull gem back! My jolliness has no end! Now then, I'm sure you're all disappointed, but Flavio must be heading back now. I cannot let those back at the camp worry me about me further. You two understand, yes? So, let me know when you find that glittery treasure, alright? Okay. Month star, day... Oh, note. Scoffing at danger, my brave explorers entered the cave. Will they actually find the Pirate King's treasure? I tremble with anticipation. Welcome to the Pirate's Grotto. This is the dungeon of the game, and we get Ruin Powder back there. Confuses all enemies, hindering their attacks. Also, we need that for Heartful Cake. Pretty useful item. And that's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you very, very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time, we'll be exploring this Pirate's Grotto. Hope to see you then. Have a great day, and God bless.